Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Noah Chast. Well, happy Saturday evening, Central Oregon. Hope you've been enjoying your weekend so far and a cool and chilly weekend it's been compared to the rest of the summer up to this point. And a very enjoyable time for some and a very enjoyable photo we have right here from Greg Webb. Thank you, Greg. This is from the northwest end of town. Let me step away here. Uh, just a beautiful sunset from a few days ago. You can see the orangey color, the beautiful reflection in that body of water. Some of the trees there as well. Always a good Central Oregon sunset here. There was a great one tonight with the mountains completely covered, but the blue sky is still up there. If you got a picture, feel free to send it our way. We love all these gorgeous sunset photos because, I mean, who does not? Looking at our temperatures right now on the Roberts Field Almanac for today, a bit below average, 78 degrees, a couple degrees below that average, but our low right at that mark. So again, it's just been feeling a bit warmer than the past couple weeks, but today it feels colder, but it's actually right on average. Looking at our record for today, 98 degrees. We're clearly not hitting it, but we're going to get close throughout the week. I'll explain in just a bit. Looking at our descent into our lows for tonight, 44 degrees is the low when we get to 4 and 5 a.m. And then climbing back up as we go throughout the day, but still a chilly morning, 8 o'clock, still 51 degrees, only 57 by 9 a.m. So I know we've been used to kind of seeing it jump up to the 60s by the time the sun's up, but not quite the case so far for tomorrow. Looking at our satellite and radar, there is a system here off the coast that's bringing in these cold temperatures from the northwest. It's bringing it down over our area, and that's also bringing in some, not precipitation, but some clouds. Thankfully, no precipitation in our area. It is covering the region just a bit. Again, bringing in those cold temperatures, giving us a little bit of cloud coverage, but not bringing in any rain. Same with our winds coming in from the northwest, but a lot more moderate tonight, only 0 to 5 miles per hour depending on your part of the region, so not a lot of wind chill factor. Looking at our future track, we can see some cloud coverage throughout the day tomorrow, but mostly clear throughout the region, and that kind of carries over into tomorrow night. Then as we go into Tuesday, if you watch here in Burns, there is a little bit of something that blows through, and it doesn't really carry over to the Bend Redmond High Desert region, so not a lot of precipitation chances for us for the next few days. Looking at our temperatures right now across the state, and this is interesting. Normally, we're well above the coast, but we're only within a few degrees. I mean, Astoria is 59, Bend's 59, actually the exact same temperature here and on the coast. So it's kind of chilly around the whole state. And around the region, we're all in a similar spot, 59 in Bend, 57 in Sun River, kind of all in those high 50s to low 60s for our temperatures. Our lows, as I mentioned, in those 40s and 50s. And our high is getting back up into the 80 degree mark, low 80s, a bit close to average. Then we get into Tuesday, that's when we see 98. And then when we go Wednesday, we see 99 degrees. So almost near, near triple digits the middle of this upcoming week. And then, quote unquote, cooling off back to 92, 87, and 90. That's been Check Your Weather. Taking a break.